Hey guys, it's Nate, AKA The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. In this video today, we're gonna to be talking about Thursday flipping investments and some big time information that was added to the pack code that is gonna affect the market for the next couple of days. Uh, and that is a guaranteed team of the week SBC because whenever we get a repeatable SBC like this one, that is a simple coin drain for a lot of people on this game, especially considering the one that has been put in the code is a not just from the current team of the week it is a, a sbc that uh encompasses multiple team of the weeks actually i'll show you guys the pack code right now that was released team of the week 15 to team of the week 29 uh and then all the way through the current team of the week so basically what that means is the simple way to put it is if you look at it on footbin Basically, anything from Team of the Week 15 all the way up to the top that is an inform or a Team of the Week moment. So the new Team of the Week that comes out today is also included in this pack because it says currently active Team of the Week. So we have a guaranteed Team of the Week SBC coming. And since it is one that includes multiple Team of the Weeks, you have an opportunity to pack. I mean, let's go look. Scroll through these Team of the Weeks. Who do you have the opportunity to pack in this SBC? You've got a 93 Neymar. You've got Werner, Harry Kane, Conte um martial you've got uh aguero you've got van dyke you have not one but two versions of mbappe the 92 and the 93 you have a halan uh you've got Goretzka, yoris uh there's the other mbappe ben Yedder, de young ramos dibala 90 rated son lewandowski bruno abamiyang uh mane de bruyne koulibaly nangon like th this past two weeks ago team of the week wasn't bad either so there's a lot of cards that you can pack from this guaranteed Team of the Week SBC, and we've already started to see market movements because of it. And I'm gonna spend the beginning of today's video talking about some of these things that's gonna happen, and will this affect our Thursday flipping? Because usually we can do Thursday flipping, we don't have to worry about this type of SBC, but uh, right now, stuff on the market is rising for these SBCs, 83s. This is, this is crazy, boys, I'm gonna be honest. This just goes to show you how much hype is involved with stuff going in the pack code. Uh, and I guess you could call them leaks in this game. So this rise in, this is the index 83, by the way, on Footbin. This rise in the market right here from 77 points to 97 points happened today because of the S Vine and the Gervinho player pick SBC that came out. So this SBC came out, the market went up a lot, 83s rose a lot. Um, and they, they were kind of falling back down into the evening as that SBC was losing hype, uh, and not as many people are doing it. But literally right where my mouse is right now at 87 points, that is where the SBC pack code was released that this guaranteed team of the week SBC or guaranteed team of the week pack is in the code. Uh, and boom, stuff has absolutely flown since then. If we look at 83s, these guys like Rodrigo says he's 1.4K. I don't believe it for one bit. Basically all 83s right now, or most of them are going to be about 2000 coins. Like I'll even look at some of the goalkeepers, right? Like usually some of these goalkeepers are some of the cheapest. Castiles, how much is he? Castiles is almost 2000 coins. He's 1.9, but the supply is slowly dwindling. These cards are going to continue rising up until 6 p.m. UK today as people invest in them. Should you invest in them? No, I don't think you should invest in the 83s. If you already have them in your club, then if you want to do some of this SBC, you're going to be able to do it for cheaper because you already have the cards in the club. Um, and if uh, you want to sell them and take the profit, you're going to have that opportun opportunity to do that as well. This is what could happen today. Do I think the SBC is coming out today? Yes, I do think it is coming out today um, because a lot of times when they put that sort of pack in the code, it does come out the day after. So I do expect that SBC to come out today. And what EA is doing with it is basically they're creating a coin drain. They're creating a place where people can go and spend their coins uh, because right now in this game, uh, there's a lot of people on the game. A lot of people just open packs for foot birthday and um, EA wants to, you know, they make money. By people by draining the coins of people that are on the game and then making them buy FIFA points to then go get more coins to replenish their account because you have to have coins to do things on this game, right? So that's why I think this pack is coming out and why EA has decided to release this pack onto onto foot. Uh, so I'm looking around at this Mbappe inform right now. This one in particular, the 93. I don't see a lot of panic selling at the moment just yet, um, but. 
you know, this is the type of thing where you start to talk about what's going to happen. If the SBC comes out today, are we going to see some panic selling of informs in the morning? I do think it's possible. I've already seen some panic selling on some of these inform moments cards that I have. Lucas Mora uh, is one in particular. This guy was 130,000 coins today. I sold multiple of them over 130K. He has dropped 10K plus in the last hour. The man is down to 1,512,000 coins not being bought. Um, that is an out of packs, inform team of the week moments card that will be a part of this team of the week 15 to um, the current team of the week SBC. Now, is this panic selling warranted? I don't think so. Even for a guy like Lucas Mora, 85 rated Brazilian. Is he going to get packed a lot from this SBC? Probably not. I mean, if you go through the team of the weeks on Footbin and you click into them, who's really realistically going to get packed from this SBC? Rafa, Huntelar, Car th the guys on the bench. Look at all of these men. The, the fact that this SBC is going to be coming out, and by the way, what's it going to require? Team of the week SBCs almost always require an 83 rated squad with like 50 or 60 chemistry for an untradeable version. And then an 83 rated squad with an inform or a team of the week moments for the tradable version. So that's usually, that's what you should be expecting with this SBC. But if you see panic selling on some of the lower tier informs, um, like 81s, 82 rated, that's what most people are going to be packing from this SBC. The ones that people aren't going to be packing, Bale, Alaba, uh, Delict, Kyle Walker. If you see panic selling on those cards... That is a perfect opportunity to maybe buy into some of the panic selling if it gets too low, right? If we get, if it gets too low, and if it's just a popular card that a lot of people use in this game, like the Sadio Mane, I would consider maybe he's high right now, hasn't dropped at all yet, but start to look around the market, right? I mean, you probably will see some price drops on these informs, but if you can pick and choose and find some panic, like Bruno Fernandez, right? 350, he was 360 an hour ago. He was 320k on Saturday or on Sunday in the weekend league sell-off. I specifically remember seeing this card on Sunday for 320k. Boom, 326 right there on Sunday. He's back up to 350, 360. He was actually 370. He's now 350. If you see panic selling on this card, this would be one that I would start to look at possibly buying into. There's going to be an opportunity to buy into some of these informs as they get panic sold. As the SBC comes, people go do the SBC couple times they figured out like man this SBC is not good all I'm packing is these guys a tour Zagadu Monreal they're packing 82 83 84 rated cards that are purely SBC fodder then you're going to see some of these bounce back and go back up because people go and they buy their teams back that they had originally sold before on the game to go do these cards so informs are going to get panic sold um of course this again i always mention keeping track of the rare team of the weeks team of the weeks that don't come out that aren't in the game when we have a week of lightning rounds uh or a week during a promo right and one for me that still sticks out a lot in my mind is team of the week moments set one this team of the week is really rare because we did not have a promotion going on no promo packs no lightning rounds and not many pack supply sbcs when these guys were in packs so team of the weeks like this I would take a close look on and, you know, just kind of keep an eye on, right? Let me find another one for you that, that didn't have lightning round packs a part of it. Uh, Team of the Week 16 had lightning round packs a part of it for sure. Team of the Week 15 did not, right? So maybe if you see Panic Selling on uh, this Allen in form or the Nabry or the Mendy, there's some usable players in this Team of the Week um, that I don't think we had lightning rounds for that you could see a rise in price just because they're more rare on the market. But... Watch for watch for panic selling across the board because I don't think it's going to be that sustainable and I don't think the prices are going to stay that low. This also creates an opportunity for panic selling on these but birthday cards. As people maybe sell these, I know it sounds crazy, but there will be people on foot that go and sell these cards to go do a team of the week SBC, right? This Douglas Costa, one of the most hyped up cards, right? Lacazette is almost a million coins. If you see Lacazette under a million coins, which I do think you will see either this morning or during rewards on Thursday, this might be our buy time for foot birthday set two. Today on Wednesday, if the team of the week SBC comes out and there's a lot of panic selling on these cards heading into the SBC, sometime on Wednesday or maybe even Thursday during rewards, I'm looking at those two opportunities as the buy time. I'm not sure what the panic's going to be. I can't predict that. But those are my two, um, you know, buy times for these cards. If you want one as an investment or if you want one for your team, I would look to see the lowest 
for those cards in that time range um, today in the panic or tomorrow on Thursday during rewards for these foot birthdays. So watch the panic selling across the market, especially with informs. You know, like, I really like this Bruno, uh, like the Aubameyang, the Lewandowski. Those guys aren't going to get packed very much at all. Um, and if you see them drop significantly, that could be a, a, an opportunity for you to buy those cards as a weekend league flip for your team or just for a quick flip to trade with. Um, but that leads me talking into rewards. What will this SBC do to the market? This will take some coins off the market. That's the only thing that scares me a little bit is that this will take coins off the market and you might see the market tomorrow go down a little bit as a whole um, just because people are going to be losing coins, net value. There's going to be a lot of coins uh, lost tomorrow. There's also going to be a good amount of coins made, right? Because all the people that bought 83s right here are going to be selling those 83s for profit and they're going to be making money. But the overall um, coin amount tomorrow in the market is going to drop off because more people are going to be losing by submitting cards in a way that are tradable that have value into this 83 or this upgrade SBC, the team of week upgrade, they're going to be losing coins and submitting coins to an untradable card that they're getting back, right? So um, I do think you could see the market go down a little bit, but this market right now is so hyped up. There's so many people that are on foot at the moment. Um, and a lot of people that are just playing this game. Think about the weekend league rewards that we have this weekend. We have everybody that played weekend league this weekend. I played weekend league this weekend for the extra red player picks. There are a lot of rewards coming this week. A lot of people are playing and a lot of people are in that swing of things where they maybe have played foot champs for the past week or two since they're at home. They're back on FIFA. Foot birthday has got them back into the game. They got the extra red player picks. They might want to go play foot champs again this weekend because what else do they have to do, right? A lot of us are locked down and we, we have a lot of time over on our hands. But that uh, that really makes me think that the market still is going to do really well this Thursday for Thursday flips. And that's why I still think that you can watch the panic selling on some of these cards um, as a possible weekend league flip investment today. If it's a higher rated card or if it's more of a rare card like this Lucas Mora, I bought, I have some of these Lucas Moras on my transfer list that I bought on Sunday for almost around this price. He was 115,000 coins on Sunday after being 137K on the weekend. Now he's down to 115 on Sunday. So I bought some of them because I knew he would rise back up as a meta player in this game, as a, a budget Premier League striker. Now he's back down again. So I'm a fan of that one. I'm also a fan of this Alaba card, to be honest with you. David Alaba, um, I think is around 100,000 coins for his left back, 105 right there. I'm kind of a fan of this one. Again, rare team of the week moments card. I like that one. And even like the Serge Nabry um, because of, the, of the, the link to a couple cards that are in this promo team. I know we just had Bellarabi, um, but Bellarabi is no longer attainable, right? And when you have cards that are no longer attainable on the market, the tradable items have more room to go up. So keep an eye on this card, especially, uh, or, you know, other German cards, cards that link to foot birthdays uh, as they could rise up a little bit this week with some link investments. And again, other things you can look at for uh, weekend league flips this weekend, especially if you find anything that is French. French is the meta, all right? French is the meta this weekend because of the Bakioko uh, objective that has been out. This Ikone was 230K, under 230 this weekend, and he's now back up at like 260. Uh, if for some reason this guy gets even back to like 240 again, I, I do imagine that this card will be somewhere at the 270,000 coin range or above this weekend. The French links are so huge right now in this game. So, you know, if you see panic selling on a guy like a Varane, is there a Varane in form that'll be included in this? There is. The 87 Varane was in Team of the Week 17, right? So maybe take a look around the market for some French informs that are maybe getting panic sold today that are, you know, in the like 500K range, right? I like the 500K and under range for weekend league flips this weekend um, just because there's a lot of people that can afford cards in that range. And keep an eye on goalkeepers as well, right? This Yoris, um, a lot of goalkeepers, maybe like winter refresh Areola as well. He was 142K earlier this weekend, dipped down to 126 on weekend league sell-off. But look how much these goalkeepers have boomed. They're not putting out goalkeepers in these new promos. The new promos we keep getting, no new goalkeepers are coming out. So all the existing ones continue to rise. So maybe watch for a panic sell on, on like a Yoris um, or maybe maybe like a, um, 
who else could I put in here? Uh, the Milan goalkeeper. What's his name? Uh, Donnarumma, right here. This card's pretty rare, right? Maybe you see some panic song on that. This Goretzka interests me. He's already low because of the Eggstein card being a full birthday version. Uh, he's dropped a lot. He was 140 this weekend, 147, back down to 100K. So, I mean, if you see this guy under 100K, it is almost club 80. Bayern, Bayern Munich, German card. So, my advice for you guys this week is look for informed panic and look for just cheap cards uh, that are getting panic sold today in that 500,000 coin range. Again, some stuff is still kind of low, right? This Dominguez. What did Dominguez go to this weekend as an Italian? He went to 316K and he went down to 288 and right now he's 292. So if you could snag this guy in the 280s, looks like you could probably get a sale. I think the market will go not quite as high as last week, but close. I think we will see a pretty high rise in the market this week. Um, just because, again, there's a lot of people in this game that do have coins and that are playing weekend league. So um, look for French first. Above all, Ducore, you know, could be a card that you look at. Ben Yedder, this one could be a card that you look at in a panic sell. This could kind of push down some of the other informs. Um, like this 85 rated Ben Yedder. And this is one thing I want to talk to you guys about as well. This guaranteed team of the week pack is, of course, team week 15 and on. This Ben Yedder is from team of the week number, what is this? Six. If there's panic selling on this card, that makes absolutely zero sense. Okay, D does that make sense? If there's panic selling on an inform that is pre team of the week 15, that makes absolutely zero sense. It could make a little bit of sense with this card if the 87 gets panic sold, which can maybe squash the, the 86 a little bit and maybe squash the 85 a little bit. But that would still be a case for me where I would want to go pick those cards up uh, in the panic selling. So watch again, French. And then of course, Premier League. Um, Syria, the main five leagues, that's where you want to focus your weekend league flips this weekend. And I still think uh, I got a Makalelia middle today. I love trading with icons for weekend league flips. Baby and middle versions of icons still should do very, very well this weekend. This Makalelia is down a lot because of uh, the Bakayoko. But this guy was over 500,000 coins Friday night. He's back down to 400K. So um, there's some people that will still get Bakayoko and, and link a Makalele to him because um, you need some French links back there. Uh, but again, I do like the baby icons as flips this weekend as well. The baby and middles because they're out of packs and more rare. If you bought cards earlier this week, I have some informs and stuff on my transfer list. Um, am I going to sell them before they come out? No, I'm not. I might, I, you know, I bought these Comans at 50K. He hasn't risen, right? I bought these Lucas Morris at 115 to 118K. You know what? He's going to get a little bit lower. The only thing I'm going to do is probably buy more. So if you already have cards purchased for Thursday flips, if you bought cards like me on Sunday, don't panic. Don't go out and sell them. I bought the Shapeshifters Alexander Arnold for 185 today. I bought this at 111. I bought this at 112. Don't go out and panic sell those cards because it's just not feasible, right? If you, do, if you do anything, just buy more. And if you have those cards, just hold on to them, sell them after Weekend League Flips, after the rewards come out tomorrow on Thursday. So that's my talk for Weekend League Rewards this weekend. I still think the market's gonna do very well. I do think there could be a bit of a downturn today. So catch on to that if you want to and watch out for those foot birthday players if you do want to buy them for your squad, if you want to buy a Bale, uh, if you want to buy a Lacazette. I think Bale is like 1.7 something right now. So he is down in price a little bit. If I could actually search his price correctly. Uh, Bale is 179 uh, and dropping. Again, Lock Di Maria. Di Maria is the one for me that has surprised me the most. Look at this guy, man. He has dropped like an absolute rock. I don't know where all the supply came on this card. But it has come literally out of nowhere. This guy was like, I don't know if you guys remember, but on Friday night to Saturday, the first time these guys were in packs, I flipped Di Maria from 1.27 mil and I sold him just shy of 1.4. Now the guy is 950k for this exact same card. And if you go look to see how many of them there are, 100k higher in price at 1.04, 1.05 mil. At this time of the night, there's two and a half pages. That means there's probably five to six during the middle of the day. You know what? If you see a Di Maria at like 500K or 900K flat, I wouldn't think that that's too 
crazy low for a card like that. I know a lot of you guys are wondering about this Douglas Costa and what is going to happen to him. This guy will rise up this weekend. He's got a lot of hype. Um, so he'll hit his lowest, whatever his lowest may be. It might be, you know, 540, 530. If you see that, that's a buy for me. 550 on Sunday night, I thought was going to be one of his lowest. Um, but this guy is one of the most hyped up. Is why I do see this guy rising out of packs if you want one for your squad. So just keep an eye on these prices there, boys, right? Keep an eye on the panic selling. And if you have 82s, 83s, 84s, you know what? This may seem crazy, but I wouldn't. Um, I would take the coins before the SBC comes. Yeah, I would take the coins. I would sell your 83s and 82s um, unless they haven't gone up that much and you think they're going to go up more. This Casillas card, when you're watching this video, probably a couple hours before the SBC comes out, is probably going to be 2.2K. It's probably going to be another 400, 500 coins more expensive. And this is a goalkeeper, right? A goalkeeper that doesn't link that well. Liga knows he's Spanish, but everybody buys this card for an 83 investment. I think the 83s are going to be over-invested. So if it's uh, somebody that you bought for like discard, like a 1,000 coin 83 rated card, I would sell it on the hype because it, at 2K, if you bought it 1K and you're selling it 2 even if you bought at 1.3K and you can sell at 2.5, that's great profit. If you bought like 100 of them, that's great profit. Take your money before the SBC comes out and run with it, right? Because when the SBC actually does come out, all you're going to see is people chucking those cards onto the market. They, they are going to think that since the team of the week SBC is out, that their cards should be going up in price and they're not going to be. You know, some people will be, be, be out buying the cards. Um, but there will also be so many people trying to sell them, right? And they'll be trying to sell them in droves because they're just wanting to make profit. So watch the panic selling on Team of the Week moments and in forms this morning. See if you can pick up any deals and kind of turn those into your weekend league flips, right? Turn that panic sell into a weekend league flip because if it's if it's meta, if it's good links, good nations, French Premier League, you know, as the main two, you should see a nice reward after and a nice rise after weekend league rewards this week. So that's my Thursday flipping talk. A lot of stuff that could go on with the market today. A lot of stuff that could go on. So if you enjoyed it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.